Hello God TV family, what a day we're living in. Just when you think life is beginning to return to some form of normality, something happens, something changes. God is surely shaking things up as the return of our Lord Jesus draws closer and closer. Today I'd like to take this moment to share my heart and to let you know about the urgent need for us to stand with our African brothers and sisters around the world, and especially for those in America where we have witnessed the tragic death of another innocent black man by a white police officer. The world witnessed an execution, and we cannot stand by and see this injustice against our African brothers and sisters continue. The church cannot be silent. We cannot be silent. While I personally feel inadequate and unqualified to even talk to you about this, I must nevertheless do so and urge you to do the same. Satan wants to divide us, but Jesus wants to unite us. What will it be, my friends? One of the things that I most love about God TV is our diverse family. Wherever and whenever we host meetings and events, the room is always filled with a mixture of races, a mixture of colors. It's a wonderful sight to behold. The Bible says, Behold and how good and how pleasant it is for God's children to dwell together in unity. Today we must speak up for our brothers and sisters. We must stand with them in unity. To all of our African friends, pastors, and leaders, our African-American friends, our African-European friends, our African-Caribbean friends, all of you, we say this. We are your brothers and sisters in Christ. We are standing with you in solidarity, and we will not be silent. We too wept when we saw a grown man murdered right in front of the whole world to see. We mourn with you, and we pray for all of our African family, and especially the Floyd family, at this heartbreaking time. Yes, black lives do matter, and they especially matter to God. We love you. We celebrate your color. We celebrate your culture and your commitment to Christ. We thank God for your style of preaching. We enjoy your jubilant worship. We are amazed by your talent and deeply moved by your patience and long-suffering throughout the years of injustice and crimes against you. God has raised you up for a special purpose and for his pleasure. And we believe that you have been born for greatness. Our prayer is that the Lord would repay to you many times over what the enemy has stolen from you. And we pray that you will walk in peace and prosperity in these days to come. Lord, bring justice for our African family. To all of our white friends, let us look for ways to be a blessing to our brothers and sisters. As you go from place to place, encourage them. Love on them. Let them know that you're for them and with them. Defend them in public. Shake hands. Embrace. Say a kind word. Show them the love of Christ. Your kindness to them will speak volumes, and especially at this time of disruption and chaos. It's easy, friends. It may sound difficult. You may be nervous. You may be shy. But it's easy. I did it today. I saw an African-American man in the supermarket surrounded with white people everywhere. He even looked out of place. 
And I walked right up to him and I said, Sir, I just want you to know that as a white man, I love you. His face lit up and immediately he gave me a great hug, friend. Regarding the protests, everything we see on the news, we've all seen the anger, the pain, the sorrow, the violence, the crimes in progress. We also see the fake protesters, the opportunists, the troublemakers, and even the terrorists. We all see with our eyes. But friends, we can only see from our level of understanding. You see, you and I have no idea what it's like to be black. But what we do know, however, is that racism has deep roots in Western society. And we must combat this evil enemy at all cost. As for how you can get involved, my friend, Reverend Betty King, one of our African programmers and advisors to God TV, is assisting us with plans to create a platform on God TV for effective dialogue, in-depth education, community empowerment, racial reconciliation, and holistic recovery, we will be meeting with senior African leaders from various countries to chart our next steps. And friend, we pray that by God's grace, we as a God TV family around the world will make a difference in turning this tide of inequality and injustice. In closing here, the words of our Lord Jesus Christ found in Mark chapter 12, when asked what was the greatest commandment his response is this hear o israel the lord our god the lord is one love the lord your god with all of your heart and with all of your soul and with all of your mind and with all of your strength and he continued and he said the second one is this love your neighbor as yourself there is no commandment greater than these. So God TV family, let us live the cross-shaped life. Let us not only love our God, but to love our neighbors as ourselves, and in this case, our African family around the world. May we be doers of the word, and not here is only deceiving our own selves. Thank you, my friends. Thank you, God TV family. Lydia and I and the whole team thank God for you. And we pray that the Lord would richly bless you for coming to the defense of our African brothers and sisters. God bless you.